Team Kokorasumaru rose from the ashes of the East Side Guns. But no sooner had they been born when they sustained a vicious assault by the violent, underhanded Sable Tigers. However, the heroic Iki choked back his anger and decided to face the bastardly villains in a parts war to reclaim the area they had so cruelly taken from him. That's not even close to the truth! Just shut up for a second. I'm trying to concentrate here. Sorry, man. So are you done registering with the parts war yet or not? Hang on. There we go. Now Kogorasumaru is officially registered as a team. We're only F-Class? What do you expect? We've never had a battle before. Anyway, the good news is the Sable Tigers are F-Class too. Welcome to the Parts War. This is the beginning of your long climb up the Tropium. But before you get started, it's important to understand the basics of the Parts War system. All writers who participate in Parts War are divided into ranks ranging from F-Class to A-Class. Each class has their own method of battle specially catered to their skill level. Usually areas or parts of equal value are wagered for one another. In instances when teams have no spare parts and nothing else to put on the line, an emblem is bet. Emblem bets are also common among teams with intense rivalries. If the opponents are in the same class, they must win three consecutive battles in order to advance to the next class. However, if a lower-ranked team beats a higher-ranked team, then they will immediately advance to the next class. Victory too. Man, it's like a free ticket to E class. I don't know, man. I mean, aren't any of you guys worried about what they're saying? What? The thing about the Sky King? I seriously doubt he's the one. That's what I thought too. But the guy's maximum airtime is bugging me. Parts War for F-Class teams is Dash, right? So what's the course? We're going to race on the fence surrounding the school. Whoever finishes the lap first, or forces their opponent off the course, wins. No matter how many practice runs you've had on this course, we've still got the upper hand. I don't care if this is your area. This is our school. Five on five. We'll bet both our area and our emblem. Iki. Our first battle. <laughs> it seems so nice. I'm a little envious. If it wasn't for Sleeping Forest. I'd be right there with them. Kugurasamaru! Kill him dead! I think you guys might want a new motto. Hearts War starts now. <laughs> Not too smart! I can crush you like a stinking bug anytime! It's a bad idea to ride in front of your opponent during a dash, especially if he's as big as me. Since he can't see behind him, the leader's at risk. And since he's catching all the wind resistance, unless he's extremely fast, he's giving his opponent a big advantage. Oh, I see. All right! Free yeah. help! We'll go, 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 Why do you think we chose this as a course? You don't need a scan to know fatties and fences don't mix. Now that I look at it, I guess this fence is pretty old. Yeah, I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, right, man, that was awesome! <laughs> so 
the fuck? Next up is Private Fat Ass. You go get him, Onigiri! Yeah! Ready? Actually, I think he is being serious. The problem is, that's the only thing he can do! Ooh, <laughs> 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 that's gotta hurt! One more loss and we're finished! Even I could have done better! Stupid pig brother's totally useless! Please forgive us! Hey guys! I think I have an idea. You should let Agito run for you. I bet this would really be easy for him. Let me switch over. Are you fucking kidding me, you useless sacks of trash? Who the hell do you think I am? I'm the motherfucking Fang King! Why would I waste my time fighting shit writers like them? It's a goddamn disgrace! What? No way! Now what are we gonna do? You wanna say that again, Shorty? My dignity's on the line. I don't wanna That's get That's how you're good for anyway. Now well, what should I do? This is all my fault. I'm the one who provoked Iki to challenge them to a battle. I just wanted him to stop fighting. I didn't think he'd bet his emblem. Now, after all that hard work, they're gonna have to break up. I brought my ATs with me, and if I helped them out, I could win, no problem. But... Ringo. You shouldn't get involved with Iki's team. Let him learn for himself. Listen, you're a member of Sleeping Forest. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but if you decide to get involved in another team's AT battle and someone figures you out, you know what'll happen. According to Trapayam's law, I'll be forced to crush you. Don't forget that. What should I do? What should I do? I have no choice. This is all your fault, you piece of crap! You're the piece of crap, you piece of crap, and Pooch is the one that screwed up first! Don't hey! How long is this gonna take? Dude, you've been arguing for half an hour! Yeah, guys, your audience is waiting. Everybody's looking forward to your big debut as strippers! <laughs> I hate to say it, but we might as well just suck it up and get this over with. We're gonna lose our first fight? There's one last chance. Maybe if I let out a big smelly fart, it'll wipe out their memories and we can pretend like this never happened. Wait, I'll be your next rider. Huh? In the face of perversity, hope springs eternal. Carried by the wind, your savior has appeared! Uh -huh. With brilliant style and blinding speed, I appear to those in need. Croissant Mask is here! Already? <laughs> <No! laughs> 
That stupid pig! If he can ride that fast, why the hell didn't he do it in the first place? Who cares about speed? I'm just jealous of that view! No! Stop it! You're gonna mess me up! Please, don't look! Get away from me! <laughs> Read on her? No, she was too fast. Not only that, it looks like her memory stick was taken out. <laughs> Damn, who the hell is she? Oops, looks like I overdid it a little. Well, um, anyway. Calling helpers all the time. If you keep making petty accusations, you'll just make us look bad. Yeah, but still. Oh, it's like being saved from the guillotine when it's only an inch from your neck. Mm -hmm. You're the best swimsuit mask. Thanks, but it's croissant mask. I, love I you. know I love she's you. really pretty too. Yeah, oh, that's I'm nice, but I'd way. rather you pretend like this never happened. The sign for victory is B. <laughs> and now she's gone. Wow. Who the heck was that? Hmm. So that's how it is. I should have known. That aura she gave off a second ago gave it away. It was just like last time. Hmm. All right, Kazu, you're the fourth runner, so you'll be next. <laughs> huh? Hey, Agito. If I go out there, then we might lose the battle. I want you to run for me, I... Huh? I love ATs. I love this team, and I love this school. I'm sure everyone else feels the same way. I don't want everything to fall apart because of me. Please, Agito! I'm begging you. Help us fight. Fuck. All right, then. But you realize if I do this, you'll never race in a battle. You'll spend the rest of your life as a bench warmer. Um, but if you think about it, I guess a little pussy like you is probably better off hiding in Iki's shadow. It's all right. I have to do what's best for the team. Well, I guess that settles it. Come on, let's get this thing started. Uh, Iki, what are you doing? Kazu, I hate to say it, but I agree with Agito. Ever since I've known you, you've always been a nobody. You've always been living in my shadow. But there's one thing you're forgetting. Even though I've been able to shine in everything I do, even though I'm the hero of the story, there's one thing I can never beat you at. And that's a foot race. Go kick their asses. You idiot. Listen, Iki. I'm just not the same as you, alright? scared he's shaking. I don't blame the little fella. His battle level is only five. <laughs> you sure about this? If he loses the race, we'll have to disband the team, you know. You've never seen Kazu's ATs before, have you? Uh, no. Take a good look at his wheels. Out of everyone on the team, his are the most worn out. Crouching start. Isn't that a little advanced for you? You're gonna fall flat on your face as soon as you take off. Please, let me do it. Sure, be my guest. <laughs> Ready? That's right, Iki. I'm not the same as you. Here... I... Go! Told ya. You and I are different, damn it! He disappeared.
That's why I'll run a different road than you. No way. At that speed, I can't even catch up to his slipstream. Amazing. He's so fast. Cousin Sweetie, Cousin Sweetie, Cousin Sweetie! See? Mm. Did running always feel this good? I guess I never noticed. It feels like the world has stopped. The world has stopped and made a road for me! That was the moment when the legendary rider known as Stealth was born. Yeah, right. Go! He's just like a little kid. He can't stand it when someone gets more attention than him. Damn it, stop screwing around. I'm not just doing this for fun, you know? Freaking amateurs. Yo, wait! <laughs> I'm the leader of Sable Tiger. They call me the Bloody Bronze Sword, not Sumi Iria. Are you ready to do this thing or what? Uh, girl? A cute one, too. Yeah. <laughs> but we really should stop treating this like some kind of fight, you know? <laughs> AT battles are just for fun, so let's have a good time, okay? You're right. It's not about if you win or lose, it's what you do with your dancing shoes. Hold on! <laughs> Step out of it, man! If you lose this race, our team's gonna be disbanded! Uh, violence isn't the answer, guys. Fine! She's hot, but get your head out of her ass! You yeah. stupid cave monkeys! Men are such morons! I've got their little weenies in the palm of my hand! No one can stand up to Natsumi's psychological warfare! Alright, ready, go! <gasps> Inky, they're starting the race without you! If I keep skating backwards like this, he'll have no choice but to check out my sweet rap. It's the ultimate defense. After all, what kind of a man can concentrate on skating with these staring him in the face? <sighs> he was really starting to worry me for a sec. Oh man, I haven't seen Iki make that face in a while. It's really freaking me out. Don't be so serious, okay? This is supposed to be fun, remember? Last time he made that face, he took out that dude called a battle cyborg. It's like he's in his own world, and you don't want to live there. Hold on a second, don't look at me like that. You're kind of creeping me out. You shouldn't pick on a defenseless girl. It's not fair to scare me like that, hey! Listen, punk, do you have any idea how hard it was for me to make this damn team? <laughs> they said a girl couldn't do it, but I did. I beat them and I proved them all wrong. Listen! <sighs> Ever since I was little, I've always been chasing rainbows. I remember running down the wet streets, staring up at the evening sky and watching my dreams fade with the setting sun. Up until now, I didn't know it would slip through my fingers. I always thought I could grab it in my hand. I thought I could make it my own. I think that's why I was always swinging my fists around. I didn't want anyone else to have it. I wanted to pull it down to the earth and keep it for myself. But it would always fade away. And on those rainy days, I would try to chase it. I would run and run and until it disappeared behind the purple clouds. But I'll never lose sight of it again. Now I have the wings to carry me up through the clouds. Oh my god. How can he be that fast? Uh, oh my oh. god, this is the best day ever! <sighs> I can't win. 
even if I give it all I've got, I'll still lose. Just take the emblem and go, okay? Yeah, I'll take it all the way. Up to the sky and over the rainbow. debut but we scored a big win already no don't tell her that if rika finds out about the team she'll never let you ride your ats again what but why you guys are all members of sleeping forest right that's true but you're not one of the noyamanos next time on air gear to hell with all this wings of icarus stuff i'll show you what i'm made of rika that i will